But a really good portrait is a picture that reveals something about the person who's been painted, which maybe not everybody knows. Maybe the person who's been painted doesn't know. You have to express your own feelings about the sitter. <laughs> I'm fascinated by people's faces and the change of expression and their different characters. People are often impressed by portraits that have almost photographic likeness. That to me is just stage one of a portrait. Painting is magical to me. I've always just been fascinated how you can just squeeze something out of a tube onto a surface, whether it be canvas or paper, and just through drawing a line or scraping a mark, whatever, you create something completely new, never seen before. This painting here I painted three years ago, and you can see it's very realistic, and it was done from life. It was my face in a mirror. I was very much interested in how things look. The mouth, I tried to get as realistic as possible. I wanted the feeling of flesh, that suppleness. Whereas this picture here is moving away from that very formal way of representation. And I've started to make the paint move around a bit. I'm using less realistic colours. I'm putting blues into the skin. I'm putting greens into the skin. The brush marks are deliberately slipping around, it's almost like getting a sense of movement. I wanted to move towards a more abstract way of painting, not so much what I see, but more what I'm thinking about. This painting shopping. It's very figurative, very realistic. The figure in the painting was based on drawings and photographs of myself. In fact, I was just using myself as a model and even included my rather strange jiffy leg, which is uh, it's an aspect of my work I'm bringing now and again. This painting is called Young Spartans, very happy, smiley, young children. And what I've done, I've just started to twist it round a bit. There's a girl there with an arm missing. There's one who may or may not have a false leg. I'm just trying to present what may be the real truth about childhood and how children experience all the worries and problems which I indeed encountered when I was a child in the playground.